Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatsMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. Well, today we've got a map which isn't finished. No, seriously, it's not finished. And it won't be finished for a little while yet, but not finished by design. And that's kind of why we are going to review it, because it helps if you get involved. Yeah, okay, right. Now, the creator is one that you've heard of. They've um, they've made a few maps, including one which I classed as the best map of last year. Yes, map of the year 2020. And had they not made that one, they probably still would have won map of the year with another map that they made. Because they're a little bit clever like that. Uh, so, if you're, if you're up for a map by a top creator that's just a little bit different from the normal, then ready yourself with that like button, because it's your time. <laughs> That's right, hitting that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Misanthropic by Anapu Marinageru. Misanthropic, ah, I see. Not really a misanthrope. Of all the people, I would say you're the least misanthropic. Anyway, there's your start square. About half of it is land, half of it is sea. It's an island map. I think that's a fair combo. Then we have islands, the terrain heights show you we have islands and some of them are flat and some of them are not so flat. And then we have resources, some of those resources are underwater, uh, hard to know whether they're going to be repainted because this is map is a map in um, evolution. And then we have fishing, if you've got Sunset Harbour, it looks like this, mostly anchovies with a splash of other stuff. Off to the workshop, what do we need? Well, we'll be using the Seychelles map theme and the coastal luck today, along with the coconut trees. A to one tile rec is recommended, as is the environment changer, which I don't really think is necessary, but it's it's there on the list, so I think we should have it anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll be reading from that headline down. Are we? I'll be reading that through the first part of the review. You see, I could talk about all these islands individually, but they're all very much the same you know they're not they're all very different but there's very little for me to say and because this is a map in evolution there's very little for me to say about that as well uh, we have one outside connection over here if you really want to build a tunnel or a big old bridge across to the island using the 81 tire mod then you can because there is an outside connection and it is there and available it's also tucked deep into the fog so you won't be able to see it once the fog is switched on so anyway, yes, yeah, so we've got a lot of islands. We're going to go around the outside. We're going to look at, I think, seven of them before the interval. And then when we come back, we'll have a look at another three dozen, <laughs> including the Start Square Island. But I did promise I would read from that headline down. And now I'm going to look away. Hopefully you're going to pace this about right because I cannot see what's going on now. <laughs> so I'm looking away. So anyway, very, very important. And to celebrate my 3,333 hours of play on City Skylines... For 33 days, this map is participatory and organic. January to February 2021. Glad you put that date in. So if you're watching this in March, you missed the boat, okay? The rules. Article 1. Every evening, this map is updated according to the number of subscribers. I'm guessing that's the number of new subscribers rather than the total number of subscribers. But yes, uh, number of new subscribers, map is updated according to that. Article 2. If there are between one and nine subscribers, the equivalent number of islands appears on one tile. So I guess um, three people subscribe today, there'll be three islands on tomorrow's tile. Okay, I get it. Between nine and 18 subscribers, the equivalent number of islands appears over two tiles. Right. If there's more than 18 subscribers, a large island appears the size of two tiles. The number of subscribers is symbolized by an alignment of megaliths. The 50 tiles, sorry, the 50 subscribers in a day are symbolized by a circle of Stonehenge. So we can actually have a look at a Stonehenge and the megaliths around it and you'll be able to see how many people subscribed on that particular day. Nice, nice, nice. Article 3. If you leave a comment, remember comments, right? If you leave a comment, you become the owner of an additional island the size of a tile. You have the right to choose the location of your island from the available tiles. Each tile is numbered alphanumerically. 
nine horizontal tiles. Uh, lines are from A to I. The nine vertical columns are from one to nine. The central tile is E5 and A1 has the outside motorway connection. Article four. If during 24 hours there are no subscriptions, then the tile of the day remains empty. Only seawater. So sad. Article five. In the case of unsubscription, the islands do not disappear. I am not resentful. So there we go. That's uh, those are the rules. <laughs> and uh, so, if you like this thing, if you you know go go and just like subscribe to it, and that will add some islands for Anapu to get on and uh, help to evolve. I'm, I'm loving the mix of trees, by the way. I think these coconut trees work really well with these tree, the, the small vanilla ones, so well. Uh, and there's a, there's a henge over there with loads of megaliths around it. So there was a, yep. You can, you can see exactly how many people subscribe to the map by the number of islands. I like the idea and by the megaliths as well. Uh, the islands, some of them have little hills on them. Some of them have flat build areas. Some of them have little villages. Some of them have beaches. Some of them have little forests and copses. And some of them have cliffs. And some of them have, like we have here, a little isthmus between the, uh, the two sides of the island. I like that sandy connection there. And I think we have just about reached the end of the first half of the show. We'll come back, we'll look at the rest of it, including the start square, the asset of the day, and the shipping routes, all in one go. And so back to a misanthropic by Anapu Marinageru. Uh, we have two separate shipping routes. This is the simple one, the little one. We're going to whiz over this one because these go on for a little while. They have all the nooks and crannies covered. That one doesn't connect that side. Uh, and then this just goes off towards the edge of the map over here. And one bends around the outside there. Now, there is a separate shipping line over this side. Let me come over right into the corner. This long one here, this is the main one. Uh, it comes all the way down here. It will connect into the islands via this little connector here with a little triangle to keep things running smoothly. And then this one is like the other side, but it is more so. It goes right into the islands and around and winds around and it connects everything. And we've got no bridges to worry about, but do bear in mind if you're going to be putting bridges between the islands, you might want to make them high enough to allow for the vanilla ships to go under. Unless, of course, you're using non-vanilla ships. Uh, if you've got water flow, yes, we've got water flow. She should start square and there is water flow. I think it's just edge of map pressure, but it's working and there's enough there to prevent you from having any pollution problems. So that's all cool. Now, back to this isthmus. <laughs> I will head across to some... Uh, we're moving through. That's, I think we've as it said that was the first seven islands, mo most of them big ones. Now we're going to be seeing a lot of small ones, mid middle si big ones, middle-sized ones and small ones. This is a good size one. This is a nice, this on its own, if you took away everything else, this on its own is a good solid map and it'd be a lot of fun to build on. And then we come across here, then you get lots of little ones, dainty ones. And what you'd want to do with these, I do not know. But that is kind of like the design of the map. We don't know what we're going to have until, well, until it's finished. And I can just see Anapu now sat there waiting with his pet elephants. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Uh, just, just waiting to say, ah, oh, it's an essential lighthouse. Ah, oh, isn't she lovely? And, um, and of course, yeah, we've got the jetty as well. Oh, and the machine gun post, lovely. But yeah, we've. It's, it's what. It's, it's going to be impossible for me to really grade fully. I mean, I will grade it, but it's not finished. And because it's kind of participatory, and we don't know. It's like random number generator. We don't know what what we're going to get. Anapu doesn't know what they've got to make until the end of each day. So I'm just going to say it's 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 going to be impossible to prop to, to grade this one fairly, but I'm going to give it my best go. Little volcano there with um, little uh, little duvry in the middle there, the old flames and uh, and vanilla rocks just to give it a little bit of distinction. And we're heading down towards, I think we're getting close to the start square now. Do we have to turn left about here? There's some sandy, um, I think it's probably ore or something. It might be oil at that location. I, I, I've, I've lost, I've, I've lost this map already. It's just, it's so busy 
and so higgledy piggledy and disorganized and disorganized by design what can what can we say anyway here's your start square island that looks pretty playable and somewhere down there should be one of those i want to say one of those i mean a big old parking garage because that's exactly what we need on a little little island like this uh, it's the downtown parking garage by king leno i love king leno's work this is outstanding. I am going to pick a little hole in it later, but it is all in tongue and cheek and all in jest because there's nobody not going to subscribe to this over the little hole that I pick in it, okay? No, I, I promise you will not turn your back on it because of me. Factoids, because factoids. Uh, the average British family uses two miles of toilet paper a year. Two miles of it. Uh, it might be even more last year, what with the um, shortages and all that. Uh, or maybe we use less. <laughs> Perhaps we were getting stingy. Anyway, we have um, we have a doorway over here. I think this is where the people will walk in and out. The drive in and out is on the ends. And look at that. First of all, look at the quality here. We've got the parking base here. Loving the way that these buildings on the top actually match up perfectly with the parking base. That is pure quality. That is the quality of King Leno. Okay, right, now I'm going to show you the, the, the glitch, okay. If we were to come down here, and it's, it's all for show, right? If you were to drive down here, parking bays. You can't drive down here because of the parking bays. You just go crunch into them. Yeah, I, okay, right. Yeah, shut up, Bonbon. I'm shutting up. <laughs> Downtown Parking Garage by King Leno. Freaking amazing, Leno. Freaking amazing. Keep it up love love it I, I just love it that is a, that is a must-have if that isn't in my in everybody's subscription list i don't know what ship what is anyway anyway um if you're still here i would like you to vote on this map is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between your vote really does count we use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10. will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month only you can decide hit the i button now in the top right corner of your screen it'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free but what do I think of today's map? Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to think of today's map. <laughs> Aesthetically, okay, let's let's say it's um, it's higgledy piggledy. It's quality through and through, but it's higgledy piggledy. The overall design, it well, there is no overall design because it's designed by democracy. I don't know. Anyway. Long story short, uh, I've got to give it four stars, but I can't go high. I'm going to give it low four. It might be much higher than that once the map is finished because it might just all come together when it finishes. Detailing. Uh, detailing is very good, but again, I can't give it five stars because it's not finished. I don't know what's coming. It could get better. It might get worse. It's four stars. Gameplay potential. It's very playable. It's quite interesting. We can interact with it before we get started. But again, I can't give a high score because it's not finished and it might be dreadful when it's done. So I'm going to go low four. All of this is based very much at the time of recording. It probably get better. Misanthropic by Anabu Marinesharu. It's a very nice map, a celebratory map. It's something a bit different. I'm all for the sense of humor that Anapu's got. It really does make me chuckle and uh, hopefully you'll appreciate it too. Anyway, thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing, for still being here and to all of the Bon Bon Buddies over on Patreon. There you all are. Hi guys. Uh, use the words of the day if you're still here to prove you're part of the 20 and out elites. Use that into the comments, score yourself some population points just for fun. And I'll come back tomorrow with yet another map in the What's Map series. I can't promise it'll be as good as this one though. <laughs>